The young leader Kim Jong-un has ordered his military to prepare for missile strikes against the U.S. right after American stealth bombers flew a warning mission just 50 miles from the border. ABC's Jim Avila has the latest from the White House. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, George. These are fresh threats from the North Koreans. Public demonstrations, troop movements, and propaganda video promising to destroy American bombers. North Korea is revving up its people, holding anti-American rallies with thousands chanting anti-U.S. and South Korean rhetoric, its leaders promising to ready its rockets to settle accounts with the United States. The U.S. monitoring their troop movements, which reportedly include repositioning troops and vehicles from their mid-range missile launching site to their long-range base. North Korea's propaganda machine publishing two new pictures. One, an image of leader Kim Jong-un appearing to direct flight or attack plans on the board behind him. And in reaction to the U.S. stealth bomber flyover yesterday, this picture of North Korean missiles blowing up the unstealth B-52 bomber. The United States, in a rare public confirmation of stealth activity, sent North Korea a message yesterday by conducting a B-2 bomber practice mission 50 miles from the North Korean border a message primarily designed to reassure a nervous South Korea. Those exercises are mostly to assure our allies that they can count on us to be prepared and to help them deter conflict. The B-2 stealth bombers are capable of dropping 16 nuclear bombs, each on a different target. But these bombers dropped only dummy weapons. We will uh, unequivocally uh, defend and we are unequivocally committed to that alliance with South Korea, and we will be prepared. North Korea is saying it will send its rockets to Guam and Hawaii. Those are considered empty threats because there's no evidence they have that capability. George? Okay, Jim, thanks. We'll have much more Sunday on This Week. And I'll also be joined by Cardinal Timothy Dolan to discuss the first Easter for Pope Francis.